Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new episode of KMM. Today, I've got a brand new map idea, which actually came from Caleb, which happens to be a chessboard-themed map. I am myself very curious to see how this would turn out, but... First off, let us get into what we're going to be making today. In particular, the actual um, assets that we're going to be creating will include probably a chess piece, but I'll leave the majority of that to the video, or not the video, the time lapse, because, I mean, there's, you know, a lot of chess pieces. But we'll be making the table because I want to do this whole thing where you're kind of just on a table that's floating. And to do that, we need a table that's floating. Smart, I know. So what we want is to have a table below it and then the chessboard and then have um, the pieces. I'm thinking about having the spawn points be in place of where the pawns would be on a board and make it grid. Not grid. Wait. Uh, check. Right there. So this here should be just about right if we take tools and we take the spawn point. Yeah, so a player is right here, meaning the map should be plenty large enough, for sure. I'm going to look up real quick just, like, how big a chessboard is. Alright, guys, so it happens to be an 8x8, eight eight, and that means we've got to shrink this dimension down to 8, so that's 3... Six, eight. So right down to that white square. Oh, whoa. That. It certainly shrinked, huh? Okay. And let's bring... Which side does... Oh, it closes in on both sides if you're doing... That's weird. In that case, three, eight. So right on that white stop. Bam, we got a perfect square of a board. And this will be our player. So now if we take our um, board itself, move it up a little, and then take this and move it to be right under, this right here can be our table. Now, this is a map that I want to be very... Not blank, but I want it to be constructed of a lot of um, flat colors more so. I feel like stylistically it would create something interesting. Now, I hardly have any idea what I'm talking about, so you know, I could just be spinning a bunch of crap, but it, I hope that it works like that. And if it doesn't, well... Yeah, you, you'll see in the video. Okay, so then... I guess this is the first of our assets, huh? It's gonna go by pretty quick. Well, we got our first leg here, and I'm gonna make the legs the size of a single grid square. Now, just take that. Make sure it's aligned. Okay, I may want to take this out just a little. There we go. Perfect. So now we bring that down. And it should probably be pretty tall. And... That... Is plenty tall enough. So now we take that and just copy it on the other corners. Alright, so the chess piece we'll be making is the knight. Now, 
I don't play chess a lot, so I don't have a great memory of what the knight looks like, but I know it's a horse, <laughs> so I've got that much down. Then again, anyone who has played chess a decent bit prob well, does know that. <laughs> so, uh, not much, but I've got some footing. So I'm going to take it and do like this, kind of. And then the, like, uh, main bulk of the horse comes up right here. Like so. And also I'm going to start switching these to default. I'm kind of wanting to get like a gray. Like a light, or not missive, but... Give it, like, a light gray. Not even light. Yeah, give it a gray around that area. That is just so it's differentiated from the board itself. Also, I probably place this... Actually. Wait a moment. Didn't I place that right? Huh. Wait. No, I think it goes right here. And then this is the uh, rook spot. Well, it was pretty close to right. Anyway, so now I just take the, uh, this part and then advance it up a little bit. And, to finish off, kind <laughs> oh gosh, this isn't heading to a good place, is it? Oh, this really isn't heading to a good place. Hmm. Wait. Maybe adding the main will help. So then shift R. Thin that out. Bring it back one. Bring it up one. That certainly didn't help. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's embrace how derpy this will look. I don't think there's any other way of doing this, for my skill level at least. So we're just gonna take- oh, what? Hey, that's not too bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Hey! That- that took shape. Huh. Well then, your boy has saved this. Now I'm going to have just big eyes. <laughs> I just want to try this out. So if I just make this assault. <laughs> okay, no, no. Yeah, let's take our victories where we got them. This is... Actually. This is our horse piece. Or our knight. It's not great. It's not too bad. Wait, wait again. Um, I want to shrink it down a ton, actually. Because I feel like it goes out too much now. There. Alright, yeah. That's good. And, I'm not even going to cut here, because, yeah. I know what I'm going to make next. I want to make a little glass. And I want to have some method of jumping into it. Maybe one of them. Like, I'll have a glass on both sides of the table. I don't know. Sounds like a cool idea. So we just take it, make it default, make it light blue. This much I can do easy. And then point five Done. Now if we shift R that. And, nah. I was going to, like, just toss in a frame it but I won't so since this is the size of a chess piece I want the glass to be like double it's okay this is a really thin glass actually uh, let's just like size that up some get it to be in around there okay yeah that's a lot that's a lot better so now if we go into size we can make it 20 by 20 or 25 by 25 if that suits our needs better. 
But for now, I'll try it with 2020. And I'm thinking that's going to be the way it is. So maybe, like, one's half full and then the other's, like, empty. So then one of them has, like, a little hole broken into it. I mean, it's, it's a little bit inconvenient to the situation. You probably don't want a broken glass, but... You know, for the purposes of having stuff to do in this map. That is, I guess, what we're going to go with. So then we take this, make it a good deep blue. Make it a little bit more visible because it's in here, so then you're seeing it out here. And, yeah. And in case anyone turns up the jump force and stuff like that, it'll be non-collidable. You will go through the water. Okay, that is a little glass. So, I guess, if you see another um, asset after this, that means I've been recording for a super short time and probably need a little bit more. If you don't see another asset after this, that means, or, well, you'll see the time lapse if it is that. <laughs> Alright, I am back. Sorry for the shortness of everything so far, but I am here once again with Caleb. <laughs> yes. Actually, I'm gonna try playing with, like, max mouse sensitivity. I guess right- oh. I win. Yes. I am above you. I feel awesome. so beastly. Ah, uh, yes. I too will play at max mouse sensitivity. Oh wait, that's not my max. There we go, that's good. I like it. I'm like barely moving my mouse around. I um, Let's go. I guess you guys can get a taste of the map here. No, no, Honestly, I'm not it's a pretty that. nice map. I'm not playing with that. I still oh. am. Good for you. Ah. Ah, it's so hard. You have to, like, do the tiniest nudges. Uh, this map nudges. is so small compared to what I thought you were building. Yeah, no, right? Then again, like, it is nice to have a smaller map on KMM now. Holy crap, that is just broken with the 
running gun. Yeah. Dang it. Oh, assist. I'll take it. Should I, like, change? I don't know. I mean, good freaking word. Or is it just my mouse sensitivity that's making me too strong? I don't even know. I can't. There, my Dude. mouse sensitivity is lowered. I'm not as beastly oh, now. Oh, god dang it. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. Ah, I got hit. Just a hit. I, in that case, I shall switch. Dang it. It, like, just kept switching my weapon between pistol and knife for some reason. Mm. It's, it keeps switching me to the knife. And I don't know why. Okay, here, now I'm not using the knife. Oh. Uh, I was really hoping I could keep my speed up of not aiming. Mm. I will not zoom in anymore. <laughs> and I hit more headshots not aiming than I do aiming. Yeah, this definitely isn't a sniper map, eh? It's like, it's too broken with like a running gun. But it's, oh, wow, you switched to my own class. Yeah, I did. Not smart. Okay. Again, I'm not aiming, so. Yep, this is me not aiming. God damn oh. it. But that was cool. I bleep. What? Can you like bleep those? Can you like tone it down for the video some? Well, I mean, this map is just so freaking tiny. It can't be helped. God dang it. It's a small map. Small maps exist. I get that, but good freaking lord. I mean... It probably wouldn't be as visually good if it were bigger yet. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's a good map. It fits its purposes. I mean, it's not that it doesn't look good or something, it's just... Small map, man. I mean, I can make the next map a bit bigger. Well, not just a bit. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be so much bigger than this, but I mean... Somewhere in between this one and the other one. Just, like, more separation more? I mean, there's just no, like, place to... Do anything. I mean, it's just. I did hey, try I... to move around the pieces some. That was to get a kind of you can hide behind things. And besides, the glasses were also kind of hiding spots. That was the idea behind it, anyway. It seems like they're not really too functional as hiding spots. What? At least I'm not aiming. Yeah, neither am I. Okay, so what would you rate this? I mean, it's a good tiny map, but I hate tiny maps. Yeah. They're really just not my thing. I mean, what else do you do with chess? I mean, I was expecting, like, you know how that board and, uh... Bleep. I would... I'm sorry, but I can't stop. It's just so infuriating to keep dying when I'm literally just trying to check out the cup. Okay, fine. Yeah, I made this one cup just, like, cut open. It's quite neat. It's very hey. useful, especially when you have a tiny map like this where it's super open. At least you get to use the, uh, bleep a lot. Ah, yes. 
I mean, I'm not trying to curse. I'm really not cursing. Oh, come on. I'm just looking at the pieces. And you shot me, too. Yeah, I'm telling you to back off. So you're allowed to shoot me, but I'm not allowed to I shoot I wasn't you. even going to kill you. I was literally just you know, walking around. You shot That's me good. twice. Oh, shut up. Where's the pawns? The pawns? Well, the player spawn points kind of act as the pawns. I just left out the pawns, and besides, it would have been way too cluttered at that point. I wanted to keep the map more open than that. Like, imagine this, but then just all the pawns are in here, too. It's just too much. Yes, that's true. I do like the idea of the players being the pawns. You are a pawn. Oh, oh fired both already? Aw, man. You had the tiniest bit of health. Okay, yeah, then. Right. I have two health. Hmm. Yes. I, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> great on my screen that really didn't look like he would have hit me but yeah you can't get in here well then good job mate the camps you got the camps plus my reticle just makes it really such easy camps with a shotgun You enjoying that? <laughs> Jesus, that kind of that reloads pretty fast. It wasn't the reload; it just has two rockets. I understand that, but you fired four. Yeah. And that reloads really fast. Actually, yeah, it does feel like a faster reload, especially for a rocket. I guess it may have just been like a buff. Yeah, no, this isn't. Plus, the only problem is, you know, you don't get a heck of a lot of points. Let's see, did you get 50 from that? You oh, still yeah, get so... midair. Yeah, so do I. Crap. Crap. <laughs> Dang. No. Like, they really weakened the damage, but they really buffed the speed. And I feel like it's not a good... It's more of a nerf than anything. Why is that a nerf? Because of how many shots it takes to kill. <laughs> yeah, but at least it reloads fast. It's about five shots, so... In not tiny map combat, it's almost useless. I mean, team combat, maybe. Dang it. I'm, I'm giving you points by just jumping off. It has its places in team. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Uh... Today on TED Talk. Alright, would this be an appropriate time to end the video? I s <laughs> Ow. Maybe at the end of this match? Yeah. Sap Uzi. The Sap Uzis. Man. Um. It is annoying how on Crunker, like, if someone hits you, half the time they'll just be facing the complete wrong direction on the final thing. And I'm pretty sure that's just me lagging. Probably. Because bad internet. Ah. I had already gotten around the corner, though. So mean of you. Jesus. Thing is, you made it to where you can't- you can camp, but you can't really camp. Cause, you know, Uzi just shred. 
Oh, oh, you're trash. Trash. All right, so I guess we end it here. Yeah. Okay, bye.